All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to record your mixes with Scratch Live. Uh, this question gets asked pretty much on a daily basis on the Scratch Live forums. So I'm making this video to hopefully uh, make it more clear on how to record your mixes with Scratch Live. Now, unfortunately, Scratch Live cannot record your mixes within the program itself uh, unless you have the Rain TTM57 mixer. If you just have the regular SL1 sound card box, then you can't record your mix in the program. So... To record your mixes, you're going to have to do it basically the same way we've always recorded mixes before there was Scratch Live and Tractor Scratch and all these digital vinyl system programs. Uh, you're going to have to use another sound card and recording program or an external recording device if you have one. Uh, but I'm going to be showing you how to do it on your computer. Uh, on the same computer actually that is running Scratch Live also. Uh, I'd recommend, if you can, if you have a second computer, to do this to record the uh, actual mix. Um, you know, most laptops are powerful enough these days that they can run both Scratch Live and the recording program at the same time. Uh, but, you know, it might get dropouts, so you might have to increase the USB buffer latency setting in Scratch Live if that happens. Uh, but that shouldn't be a problem, though, with any uh, laptop made within the last couple of years. So. Uh, the program I'm going to be using to record the mix is Audacity. It's a freeware wave editing program. So if you could just go to Google and type in Audacity, A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y, and search for that, it'll be the first listing on the search result. Uh, as again, this is a freeware wave editing and recording program, so go here and download this. Uh, go down right, uh, right here. It's for both Mac and PC, so uh, download that and install it. Uh, so now a couple things to set up first before we actually get into recording. Uh, you're going to need to run a cable from your mixer to your sound card. Now if you're just going to use your built-in sound card on your laptop, uh, make sure it is a line input first of all. Uh, do not use the microphone input to record your set. It's going to sound like shit. It's going to sound very loud and distorted because the microphone is not the same level as the line level. So make sure you have a line level input first of all and don't use the mic input. If you have a MacBook or a MacBook Pro, you have a line input. Uh, the problem is most PC laptops don't have line inputs. They only have microphone inputs, so don't use that. And if you have a PC laptop, then you're going to probably need another external sound card. Uh, there's a lot of different price ranges on external sound cards from anywhere from 50 to, you know, $500 or more. Uh, so... Um, check that first of all before you even begin attempting to do this. But if you have a Mac, which I'm using, then you're all set because it has a line input. So, uh, the mixer I have is a Zone 92. Let's take a look at the back connections. Uh, you can either use your master output, your booth output, or if, you, if your mixer has it, use the recording output, which I'm going to use right here. It's this recording output. It's just the RCA output. And the cable I'm using is just going to be an RCA to... Uh, three and a half millimeter or eighth inch uh, jack. It looks like this. You can pick this up at Radio Shack or pretty much any decent electronic store. So we're just going to connect the RCA ends to the RCA output on my mixer. And then this, uh, the other end, the uh, eighth inch end, is going to go into the line input on my MacBook, which is this port right here. All right, so now that we have all the cabling and wiring set up, uh, let's go into Audacity first of all. And after you installed it, so let's bring up Audacity. Oh, where's it? There it is. Okay, now the first thing you're going to do in Audacity is set the uh, input uh, for recording. So go into Preferences, and then on the Audio In Out tab, you're going to go down to Recording, and you're going to want to select uh, whatever uh, input is your line input on your sound card. If you're on a Mac, it's just your built-in input, so select that. And also change the channels to the number 2 stereo. It probably will be on uh, mono at first, so you, may, you want to change it to stereo because obviously you don't want to record in mono. Uh, that's basically it. So hit OK. So now we're pretty much ready to record. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do in Scratch Live is load a track. And before you actually begin recording, you're going to want to test your levels to make sure you get uh, correct levels. You don't want it to be too loud and distorted. Uh, so let's play a track. You're gonna want to go basically go to the you know the middle of the track where typically that's gonna be the loudest part of the track in most songs is the middle. So uh, go there. 
Play it up. And turn it down just a little bit. Okay, so you can tab and minimize between programs. So let's hit record. And as you can see, it is recording now. Uh, what's going on in Scratch Live? This right here will be the levels of the recording. And as you can see, it's clipping and peaking a little bit, which you don't want. So uh, you're going to want to turn that down just a little bit. Now, let's stop the recording. Okay, when you're recording, you want to get probably as close to 0 dB as possible without going over it. Uh, obviously, you don't want to be too loud and distorted because then you have clip peaks in your recording. And you don't want that because that don't sound like crap. So it's better to err on the side of caution and have lower volume than more volume because you can always go back and increase the volume uh, post-mix, but you can't go back and undo uh, clip peaks. Uh, once they're clipped, that's uh, basically trash and you can't go back and fix that. So better to err on the side of caution and record a little bit lower than a little bit higher. So as I mentioned, you want to record probably as close to zero as possible without clipping into the... Uh, to the peaks right here uh, so let me reset that so let's close that and reset our levels a little bit more and try again so let's play another track all right as, as you can see it's pretty much close to zero as we can get and it's not clipping over here into uh, over zero so this looks good right about here might want to just tear it down just a tad bit more So as I said, always better to record a little bit lower than too much. So, uh, so yep, there we go. We got our levels set right. So now we can just go back into Scratch Live, restart the track. Like so. Alright, got that. Let's tab back over to Audacity. Begin recording. And there you go. Now let's tab back over to Scratch Live. And now we can begin playing. Should be recording now. Let's go back and check. And there you go. Your set is now being recorded in Audacity. So now you can just forget about it for now and go back to Scratch Live and you know continue mixing like you normally would. So hold up your next track. And again, I'm just gonna quick mix this. I'm not gonna actually, it's probably gonna sound like crap, but you know that's not the point. Alright, so there we go. Recording the mix. It's going on in Audacity. Let's go back and check on it. Oh, and as you can see, we clip peaks a little bit. So, you might want to go back and turn the volume down a little bit. So again, we have to start all over now. I mean, it's okay if you get one or two clip peaks. You know, it's not that terribly bad. You just don't want to keep it totally all distorted in the red. But yeah, so there you go. I hope you get the basic idea now of how to record your set. Uh, in Scratch Live using uh, another program. You don't have to use Audacity. If you have another program, you can use that too. If you got, you know, Sony SoundForge, Adobe Audition, uh, you can record in GarageBand also if you have a Mac, or Pro Tools, uh, whatever. I mean, there's dozens of recording applications out there. It doesn't really matter which one you use. And, you know, the basic process of recording your set is the same for all the programs, really. You need to get the sound from the mixer into the sound card and to the laptop to record. Uh, so there you go. This is uh, how you record your mix in Scratch Live using another program. And hopefully this makes it more clear now on how to record your set.